Okay, here we go. It's not over yet. We still have one more battle, and it, all we have to do is kill this dragon. He has pretty beefy stats. His attack is Flame Tongue. It'll always do 37 damage. And in addition to that, it's fixed damage. So regardless of how high your defense or resistance is, it's always going to do 37. In other words... Yeah, we're not going to use Priscilla at all. All the other characters, though, are fair game, and there's a number of ways you can do this. Obviously, Athos with Luna is a good bet, because why wouldn't it be? And it's just enough HP to survive, and we also have a Luna healer in the back as well, so we should be able to handle this. Obviously, you can go with your characters as well. Just be aware of how much damage you take and how much damage you do. And obviously, if you get doubled by the dragon, you probably shouldn't be fighting it, so... Okay, good. We can still fight it with you. And another thing, the dragon actually has a range of three. Uh, so, basically, he can attack you if you're here. So keep that in mind as well. But yeah, basically, just kind of go with your best characters. I'm honestly thinking right now, just going with uh, Hector and Elliewood to just kind of battle this guy, so... Go for it. Also, I believe the dragon can crit as well, so obviously you don't want to deal with that if that's the case. Uh, the dragon will most likely always hit you, though, so keep that in mind. Also, there are other enemies, as you can see. Uh, they have very annoying stabs and long-range magic, so they can be quite annoying. And it's really hard to find, like, a universal range for all of them. It's possible, but again, very, very annoying. Again, this guy, all this guy has is sleep, so as long as you, like, kind of stick to this side, you should be fine. So, let's see, from this diagonal that Priscilla's on, she's okay. Yeah, okay, that's okay, that's fine. Obviously, I don't want Priscilla falling asleep, though, so let's make sure she doesn't do that. We'll see if this actually heals him fully or not. As long as he's above 37, we're fine. Okay, just enough over 37. See if we can do the same with Hector. Once again, Hector will not get. Uh, if we get, if we have physics staff, he's not going to get two shot, which is all that's important. He doesn't have a hundred percent accuracy though, which is kind of a concern. Also, I want to say the dragon has a hundred and twenty HP. We can just now see it on the battle window, but, um, yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't show three digits there for some reason. I always thought that was a weird thing, but, yeah, it is what it is. Okay. And if there's someone, if there's a character that needs more HP, use Nils to get your, uh, Physic Healer again. Just makes sense, like, don't try to, like, don't try to be a hero if you don't need to be. And yeah, you can also check your other characters if they can do damage. Um, it'll mostly be the legendary dragon weapons that can harm them, though, so keep that in mind. See, like, just the S-rank weapons aren't really doing a lot. I don't think even Soul Cotty does... no. It's, again, mainly just the legendary weapons, so that's why we're gonna have Hector and, uh, Elliewood do a majority of the work here. Let's go ahead and start getting these other guys... Get out of here. Yeah, we can put you here. I don't think there's any other... Yeah, I think we're fine. And there won't be any, like, reinforcements either, so... It's literally just these enemies, and that's it. But yeah, mainly use, like, the legendary weapons, and also Luna works wonders, too. 
Luna is, again, just an incredibly broken spell. So definitely do not be afraid to use it as much as possible. Okay, so they're going for Elliewood again. Down the 56, he's getting there. Oh shoot, well, whatever, he can't die to that. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to my range. It's fine though, it's fine. I missed him. Of course though, if he's asleep, that's gonna be harder to avoid, but... He didn't get put to sleep though, we're fine. Okay, so what we could do right here is we could start trying to move our guys in to finish up the dragon this turn. And see, we can even crit him, too. The dragon's not immune from crits, he just has high luck. So there's a chance that he won't get crit, but... You know, it can, it can definitely still happen. I really don't want to give Athos the kill, though. That's the only thing. I would not want to give him the kill. I think he'll go for Elliewood, though, so let's go for it. Let's see, this is going to work. Hey, if he just if he just uses flame tongue on himself, we got this. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. If it did though, that'd be pretty cool. You see, this should give him enough to. Yes. Okay, we're good there. Because I think they'll still try to kill you if you have that opportunity to get killed by him. So. Just be careful, don't take any unnecessary risks. It'd be stupid to do that. Let's see, I'm gonna do this as well. I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, I could finish this this turn. I might actually go for it. Yeah, it would be risky, though, because if I miss, I'm dead. Actually, no, I'm not. I have a bunch of people who can... Oh, but I already moved Kanas, though. Okay, well, you know what? I won't try to get fancy with it, then. No need to get fancy with it. Let's just be smart and finish up this battle properly. This is the final chapter, after all. Okay, Elliewood's full health. Hector will not get one shot. Okay. Might even move you out of the way. Damn it, he's still in range. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, he's not. Oh, I can't pick him up. Shoot. Okay, whatever. Okay, you got this, Elliewood. <laughs> He's going for Hector! <laughs> oh, God, he went for Hector, not Elliewood. You know what? Hector's a badass. Elliewood took out Nurgle. Hector will take out the dragon. It's not like uh, freaking Radiant Dawn where you need to get the final strike with Ike. There he goes. The dragon has been defeated. Ellie Wood. Ellie Wood. Lord Ellie Wood. I'm here. I'm right here. Well done, brave successor to Roland. It's finally over. Finally. 
everything is... Lord Athos! Ugh. Looks like I've exhausted my strength. I... I'll die before you, friend. I may well follow you soon. For now, I will sleep again. Elliewood, Hector, Lynn. I've lived a long, long time, but now I'm done. Do not grieve. Soon I will be with long absent friends. I have no regrets. Lord Athos! Now, my friends, my family, let me give you a parting gift. As I lay dying, I see many things. I see the future. Oh, why? Why is this not now? Neither Bramimon nor I will be here to help a land in need. What do you see? An evil star rises and burns. All of Aleve will once again be awash in blood. But do not fear. Once again, Lycia brings hope. Children of fire. Everything. Lord Athos. Even at the end, he thought of us. Greybeard. Look, both of you. Lord Athos, it's almost as though he's smiling. <clears throat> this world will once again be enveloped by darkness. But, at the end, a saving light shall rise. Ninian! Lord Elliewood. I'm so happy. I can't believe you're back. I feel like this is all a dream. Once I lost you, I knew for sure. I need you. I want you by my side forever. Lord Elliewood, I... I must go home. What do you mean? I'm the cause of all of this. It was my weakness that invited this tragedy. Ninian? Here on Alib, we were nurtured for ages in the land of our birth. Even after humans invaded and drove us out, not a day passed that I did not think of it. I yearned to see it once again, our homeland. Those children, the fire dragons, they were like me. We knew that it was forbidden, and yet we answered Nurgle's call and opened the gates. We didn't intend to stay long, just to see home one last time. But Nurgle captured us and it led to this. We humans, we took control of the continent like it was our rights. We never considered who or what we drove away. Ninian, Nils, the blame for this was never yours alone. While we can claim ignorance, we still bear some responsibility. Lord Elliewood, do you truly believe that? I do. If my father were here, he would say the same thing. Let's work together 
and think about the future. If the entire continent were made a place where dragons and humans could live together, like the hidden city Lord Athos spoke of, Arcadia. What a wonderful world that would be. But that's certainly something that won't happen for a long, long time. So we... we can't stay here. The gate is still open. If it remains so, other dragons will certainly pass through. Before that happens, we must return to our world. We must regain our power and seal the gate from that side. Are you saying I'll never see you again? That can't be. Lord Elliewood, I am truly blessed that I have had the chance to meet you. Please, please, don't forget me. Ninian! Come, Nils, let us go. We must return to our world. Ninian, the air of this world. It's changed so much from what we knew. No matter how much time passes, our strength will never return. If we stay here, we will not survive long. Nils, why do you... But even knowing that your life will be short... Ninian, you truly wish to remain here, don't you? I understand. Stay here. Stay with Lord Elliewood. Nils? Lord Elliewood? Ninian? No, my sister? Please cherish her. I will. I will make her happy. I swear it. Nils, you... Are you... Mm. I'm going alone. I want to live a long time. I don't have your curiosity. Nils. Okay then, I'm going. Be well, Nils. I'll miss you. I'll never forget you. Nils. Don't cry, Ninian. Even if we're apart, if we never see each other again, our bond will never, ever be cut. More importantly, sister, live as long and be as happy as you can for as long as you can. Nils! Thank you, Nils. Oh, daybreak. Beautiful, isn't it? The start of another day. Ninian? You'll come with me, won't you? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Fire Emblem. Let's watch the epilogue, shall we? One year later. So here you are, Slim. Will you attend my ascension ceremony? 
Hector and everyone else is coming. What? These clothes? I look silly, don't I? Formal dress is so stiff. I can't stand it. Ah. Everything's finally resolved. I'll succeed my father as Marcus Ferre. I don't know if I'm equal to the task, but I'm going to do my best for all the people who live here. Slim, you... Do you really have to go? No, I understand. I'm sure that you have things you must do. Thank you for supporting me in everything. Lord Elliewood? Here I am, Ninian. Ah, hello, Slim. Um, Lord Elliewood, is Slim? Slim will be at the ceremony of Ascension, but must leave shortly after. Is that so? I'm disappointed. Oh, Slim! I want you to know something. When things are a little more settled, Ninian and I plan to be married. And this may be a bit premature, but... Slim, we'd like you to name our first child. Minnie and I talked it over. You've done so much for us, and we truly want this. Please, Slim? So, Slim, this is farewell. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't... This world wouldn't be here. You have my heartfelt gratitude, Slim. I'll see you again. It's a promise, my friend. Okay, well... Next up we have the credits. And shortly after that, we still have more epilogue stuff. Of course, we have to get all of the, uh, the character epilogues, the individual character epilogues, so we're not even close to being done, but... There's just so many things I have to say about this game. I love this game to death. This is... This is one of my top five video games of all time for a reason. When I first played through it, I fell in love with this game. I played it many, many times after I beat it. I just have a lot of just very, very great moments with this game. And it got me into Fire Emblem, which one of my all-time favorite video game series for that matter. And I love it. it. It's given me so much, and it's a game that I'll always love and cherish. I know there's a lot of people who've played, like, a lot of different Fire Emblem games, and, you know, there's a lot of people who say that this one is, you know, kind of in the middle of the pack, just because it doesn't do anything, like, super extraordinary. Or it's missing, like, a vital feature that people really enjoyed, but... For me, I think it's perfect. Like, it got me into this series that I knew nothing about when it first came to America, and... You know, I just love it, and I have so many great memories from this game because of that. Uh, so here we have basically the chapter data, how many turns it took to beat each chapter. Uh, there are some chapters that'll have a ridiculously high turn count because of the support grinding. There's one right there, there's one right there, there's one right there, and yeah. So because of that, uh, a lot of turns were spent doing a lot of dumb things, I'm gonna say that right now. But now we have the character epilogues, Marcus, the Knight of Foray. Marcus returned to Foray with Elliewood and, as the head of the Knights of Foray, dedicated his life to training young squires. Also, I gotta say this right now, I love the music that plays during this part right here. I just love this song so much. 
Loen, swift knight. Loen replaced Marcus as the most famed knight of all Foray. His endless zeal served Foray well throughout his life. Rebecca returned to her father, then pledged service to House Foray. She has formed a family, and yet she still serves Foray well. Dorcas returned to Foray and used the money he earned to buy medicine for Natalie, his wife. She recovers rapidly. Barter continued his quest from country to country. Rumors say that he fell in love with his own mortal enemy. Oswin, 67 wins. Oswin served as a vassal to Marcus Ostia. His was a calm, reasonable voice in Lycia's ruling government. Matthew continued his service as a spy for House Ostia. The memory of his beloved Layla lingers on in his heart. Sarah returned to Ostia. She spent much time tending to her own affairs. But lately, she has begun to enjoy her free time. Guy continued his quest to be the finest swordsman of all of Sake. His form was so perfected that all called him the Saint of Swords. They fell in love amidst the conflict. Though he was not nobly born, Urk's talent and his link to Lord Pent earned him the peerage he needed to wed Priscilla. As a trusted magic teacher, he lived his life in happiness. Uh, so let's see, Priscilla 27, I didn't see Urk's kills, I'll get that later. After Lynn abdicated rule of Kaelin, Florina returned to Ilia. She remained shy, but this shyness has made her strong within. Although they returned to their respective countries, they visited one another often and their relationship bloomed. When Lynn abdicated Kaelin's rule to Ostia, Kent resigned, went to Ilia, and married Fiora. Well, they had actually pretty close to the same kill count too, which is pretty awesome. I think it was 69 for Kent, 68 for Fiora, so that's pretty cool. When Ostia took over the rule of Kaelin, Sane resigned and became an independent knight. His love of women is unchanged. Will remained a knight of Kaelin even after Ostia took over. He became the commander of Ostia's Kaelin Archer Division. 54 kills. Raven, 62 kills. Raven vanished without a word. Many reports have him placed in Arathen, but none could be confirmed. Lucius lived a modest life in a remote corner of Arathen. He built a small orphanage where he now cares for helpless children. Canas returned to his family in Ilia. Some years later, he and his wife died trying to stop a snowstorm. His child was raised by his old mother. Uh, 49 wins for Canas. 65 wins for Dart, holy crap. Dart took a grave wound in protecting Fargus in a skirmish. He vanished at sea, but rumors claim he might be in Foray. I wonder why. Maybe he lives there, hint hint. <laughs> After the battle, Legault traveled to the lands looking for Black Fang refugees. He helped them to ease the pain of his own loss. Nils vanished through the gate in order to seal it from the other side. Those who saw him go will never forget his look of sorrow. As a knight of the Imperial Guard, Isadora served as a guard to Lady Eleonora. She continued to study to be a lady up until she wed.
Heath moved to Ilya and became a mercenary knight of some fame. He fought not for country, but for people in need. Pretty noble. Hawkeye, Desert Guardian. Hawkeye returned to Nevada and lived peacefully in Arcadia with his daughter, whom he trains to be Guardian of the Desert. Crag of Kalen. Wallace intended to return to Kalen, but he got lost and ended up in Ilya. He now spends his days tilling the frozen soil. When Athos died, Pent took over his research. To focus on his studies, Pent resigned as Mage General of Etruria. This action set the palace in an uproar, but Pent and Louise endured. Once Corel was known as the Sword Demon, now he bears a new name. What prompted this change? He will not say. At Elliewood's invitation, she started a quiet life in a small village in Foray. She plans to return to Bern to visit a certain cemetery. Jafar vanished in the final moments of the last battle. He still avoids the bounty hunters who seek out the famed Angel of Death. Some rumors say that Vida died at the hands of Burn forces. Others say she now serves Burn's Prince Zephiel. No one knows. <laughs> Renault, Burden Bishop. No one knew the old him. No one knows what became of him. He vanished as though he never existed. Archsage Athos. Athos died in a foreign land. Those who saw his face said that he seemed as though he had at last found true peace. Okay, here we go. Merlinus, cheery merchant. I forgot about this one. Merlinus opened a shop in Ostia, but it was forced to close. He plans on reopening with some aid from Lord Elliewood himself. Lynn, 54 wins, Wrath, 44 wins. When her grandfather died, Lynn asked that Kaelin be taken under Ostian protection. She set out for Sakae, where she was reunited with Wrath of the Kudala. They had a daughter and lived happily in the plains of Sakae. Hector, 72 wins, probably my MVP. Hector returned to Ostia and became her Marques. His bond of friendship with Elliewood remained eternally strong. And here we go, Elliewood, 71. Oh, I've been reading this wrong. Elliewood and Ninian were wed after the conflict. Ninian gave up her old life and her people to enjoy a brief life with Elliewood. They have a son named Roy, who will one day take up arms to defend his nation. So yeah, apparently the stats appear below the units, not on the side where I thought they were. And here we have me, Slim, famed genius. The tactician vanished after the final battle. Burn, Lissy, and Etruria all sought those famed skills, but none ever found the tactician. And that's it for all the uh, epilogue, but we're not done yet. There's still one more scene we have here. Thanks for coming, Elliewood. Hector! Long time no see. First time since my brother's funeral. Fifteen years now. And look at us. We've both grown older, haven't we? Uh-huh. Time certainly does speed right by. My father's disappearance, his death, the fight with Nurgle, those fire dragons, the memories are so vivid, it might have happened yesterday. Nurgle, what a black heart he was. I've had enough of battles like that. Hmm? Is that your son over there? 
I've been waiting to introduce you, but there's been no chance. Roy! Come here. Did you need something, Father? Say hello to Marcus Ostia. Y yes, sir. A pleasure to meet you, Lord Hector. My name is Roy. Roy, is it? Nice to meet you, lad. Well, I guess that means I should introduce my daughter, then. Lelina? What? Are you being shy? You don't have to be nervous. This is your father's old friend. And his son. Hello, Lelina. This is Roy. He's the same age as you. Nice to meet you. Lelina? Let's be friends. We can play over there. It's okay, go on. Ah! What a cute child. Good thing she took after her mother. What? <laughs> she looks just like me, doesn't she? You're a sarcastic one, Marcus Ostia. Come on. Now you're the one putting on airs. Marcus Foray. Ha 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 ha. The only thing older about you is your appearance. Don't tell me you still behave like that even now that... You're the Marcus. I'm always on top of my duties as Marcus. But when I'm around you... I want to relax, so please. Hector. By the way, I heard that the King of Bern died. It was fairly sudden, too. I can't be certain, but according to one of our spies, he was killed in an assassination attempt on Prince Zephiel. The Prince? I trust he was unharmed. It's a strange tale. At first, I heard that the prince was killed. Then, new information came around, three days later, saying that it was the king who had died. Do you remember Archsay's Athos' prediction? Is something happening in Bern? I don't know. Father, can I show Roy my pony? Yes, go ahead. Be careful. Okay. For the sake of our children's futures, I'll stop anything that may happen. I'll sacrifice my life to make it so. Once again, Lycia brings hope. If that turns out to be wrong... No, it must happen. What reason have you awakened a demon dragon? Who are you? Dragon. And that's the end. I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, I'm going to have a bit of a follow-up video um, after this. 
uh, kind of just going a few over a few brief things that unlock once you beat the game. Uh, some of the other options that are available, and I'll also be discussing the future of this project. So hope you guys are ready for that. Um, I'll probably just post that at some point, like in the coming days. It's not gonna replace any of the other upload days. I'm gonna go ahead and start a new project next week. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for Fire Emblem Seven. I want to thank all of you guys for watching. This is a lot of fun, um, but it's not over yet. Uh, like I said before, I really want to do a Hector playthrough. But if I am going to do that Hector playthrough, it's going to be handled in a much different way. Uh, with, uh, you know, slightly more focus on the Hector exclusive scenes and content. Uh, but it is something I do want to do, and it's something I am kind of still trying to think about. But in the next video, in that little short video I'm talking about, that'll be posted a little later, I will go over that stuff. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you for watching, everybody. This was... A really great project for me to do. I've been looking forward to doing this game for a very long time. As I've said numerous times, it's a game that's very important to me and a game I truly, truly love from the bottom of my heart, and I'm glad I could actually show it to you guys. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Later, folks.